Here we have a Ford Focus in today with a water leak problem. Um, so we're just going to show you what we've found. Uh, so it's got its common issues with the air vents behind the bumper, which these two are leaking. We have got a video on the channel explaining what they are. So obviously have a look at that one there. Um, but I'm just going to quickly show you another common problem. Um, if we go up to the tailgate anchoring point, we just quickly put a torch on there. So we can see just here that we have a crack in the weld. Um, so that is allowing water to pass through. And also, just on the side of the guttering strip, there we go. So we can see a crack form in there, and the crack goes all the way up to the top. So then what that's then causing is it's causing water to run down on the inside. And then what it's then doing is it's pouring in this section here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a bit of water on there. So basically just simulating that it's raining. So we wanna put some water in this section here. And also we will put some water in this section here because there's two cracks. And if we then come down inside the car, Okay, so we can see that we've got some run marks here. So we've got a run mark here. And also, we're getting water collected at the bottom here. And there we go, so it's dripping down. So there we go, so it drips down and then it uses this as a guide, as we can see. And then what it will then do, is it will come to the back seats and uh, from the back seats they've designed it very well and it is kind of like a little slide which comes down the outside of the back seats and if i just put my hand underneath here where the carpet is and give it a squeeze so there we go so it's very wet and very dirty in there and also if we come to the front of the car what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly lift up this carpet So that's wet there as well and also up the sponge on the bulkhead if we just give that a squeeze there we go so it's all wet down the driver's side so there we go